Hey guys, welcome to another Pack With Me video. Today I am packing for a month long trip to Europe. I'm very excited. And if you've seen my other packing video, I show you how to pack for a trip in a personal item only. This time I am bringing a hard shell carry-on suitcase. I'm still going to keep things very simple and very minimalist. So I'm gonna show you how I pack for long haul travel, for international travel, I am gonna to have to bring more items with me because I'm traveling internationally, but I'm still gonna keep it very simple. So if you're new here, my name is Carla and I make videos about decluttering, organizing, and simplifying your life. I hope you'll click the subscribe button and stick around. I have a packing list that I've made for you guys. I will include it in the description box below. And any of the items that I use in today's video also will be linked in the description box below. Okay, let's begin. So let's talk equipment. I've got my hard shell suitcase. This is by Target, uh, made by Design, I think is the brand. It's a hard side spinner. They promote this as a bag to pack for three to five days. We're gonna make this bag work for a month. Then I've got this Longchamp tote bag that I love because it folds down into this little little, little itty bitty thing, but it's very spacious. And then I have my belt bag, which is my secret weapon. And I use this for all my in-flight essentials, so I'll show you how I pack this at the end. This is my first time using this suitcase. I'm excited. It looks perfect. I know a lot of people love the Away bag, but it was too expensive for me. I didn't want to spend $280, so I got this one. I think it was $80, and I'm sure it will do the trick. So what I'm planning to do is close on this side. I love that I can make that whole part private decide what i'm gonna put in here i don't know yet over here we'll go shoes toiletry makeup accessories um hair tools any of that kind of stuff i keep a lot of my travel supplies actually all of my travel supplies in this weekender bag so all of my pouches i'll just bring all the pouches out and we may not use all of them but i want to show you how i pack in real time so you can kind of get some ideas Lots of pouches, sunglasses case. Definitely gonna bring my neck pillow because the flight is 11 hours. This little wallet I carry with a bunch of different currencies from all over the world. So we'll see what we have for the countries that I'm going to. Travel umbrella, little pouch, another pouch. Another neck pillow, don't need that. Glasses. These desk bags are great for laundry. A um, couple more pouches, adapters, more adapters. Okay, I think that's everything I need. Now we have all of our packing supplies. We've got the suitcase, the belt bag, the personal item, a couple of bags for laundry, may not use all of it, and a lot of pouches for compartmentalizing everything from toiletries to electronics to makeup, etc. So let's see, we may not use all of these. I doubt that we will, but good to have them out. Okay, let's start with the largest item first, which is the suitcase. And let's pick out the clothing that we are going to fit into this little compartment. When I'm picking out the clothing for my trip, I think in terms of a daily uniform. And for me, that is a pair of quality jeans and a t-shirt or blouse in a basic color. And then I bring a few of my other favorite pieces, things I feel good in. I think the biggest temptation is to avoid bringing fantasy items, i.e. clothing that you barely wear at home, but think you'll wear on vacation. I think this is it for the clothing. Let's count up how many items I have. So I have a pair of light denim, a pair of dark denim, a pair of black leggings, a pair of gray leggings. I've got two white tees, two black tees, Long sleeve, I've got a leopard long sleeve, a gray sweater, a black sweater, and this denim button up. I always like to bring a cohort with me because you can break this up into multiple outfits. So this is gonna be my plain outfit. Comfy pants, comfy long sleeve top, but then you can break it up and you can wear this with this. You can wear this top with these jeans. And then I've got this dress, midi dress, so cute. I've got this maxi dress. This is the Skims dress. It's just long sleeve, black. Can definitely bring this day to night. And then I have my yellow pantsuit because I always feel good when I wear this. 
And I think that's it for clothes. So I still gotta do shoes and undergarments, but let's start by rolling up the clothes and packing them on that side. Okay, let's take a poll. Are you team packing cube or do you pack without them? I don't own any packing cubes and I'm totally fine with having this section of the suitcase act as a large packing cube. I can compress the items by rolling them and I don't feel the need to separate my shirts from my pants and my dresses, but maybe one day I will invest in some packing cubes. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. All of the clothing is currently packed on this half of the suitcase. I went ahead and just laid the button up shirt across it instead of rolling it up. So, you know, there, you gotta be flexible in some ways, but the tighter you can compress your clothing by rolling it, the more you're gonna be able to fit, but everything squeezed into the side. And then I just kind of draped this across it to cover all of it. And honestly, there still is room. Like if I wanted to put one more thing right here, I could. Now I'm gathering all the items I use on a daily basis. So I think the temptation here is bringing way more than necessary. There are items I don't bring that I know I can use at the hotel. And there are also items I love to buy in the country that I'm visiting. So I'm not bringing a large bottle of lotion. I'm not bringing shampoo and conditioner. I am bringing my skincare items because I'm really particular with what I use, but I don't let myself bring things that I only use occasionally like face masks or my gua sha tool, my jade roller, things I might use once a week that I don't really need to travel with. Now that the clothing has been packed, it's time to pack and organize everything else. I break it down into, I'd say about five categories. We've got our TSA liquids bag, which I use a clear Ziploc baggie for. We've got our toiletries bag, which I'll use this pouch. We've got a makeup bag for all of our makeup. Then I'm gonna do my in-flight essentials, which will go in my belt bag. I'll use one of these pouches that's larger for all of my electronics. And then lastly is accessories, which is jewelry, scarf, hat, shoes, and undergarments, outer garments, and then we're, we're done. So let me go through the process and I'll talk you through it. Let's start with TSA liquids bag. I use a simple Ziploc baggie for this. And here's what goes into my bag. Missler water, which is basically how I wash my face. Toner. These are all the travel size versions of the items I use. Uh, this is my sunscreen. This is the best sunscreen if you're in the market for one, La Roche Posay. For 100 SPF, I think it's the best one because it does not leave any like white cast or shadow. But for a alternative to using um, foundation, the Glow Screen by Supergoop is amazing. Now they sell this in a travel size at Sephora, which I plan on getting, but for now I'll just go ahead and pack this. Another face wash, uh, this little face cream, my foundation, bio oil I use for my scars, a little toothpaste. Everything fits in there perfectly. Well, for makeup, I keep it super simple. I've already got my foundation, little highlighter by Fenty Beauty. I do a simple lip gloss by NYX. Lashes, yes, I pack the mascara in there. I've never had a problem with it. I don't put it in the liquids bag, but do what is right for you. These are my two lip liners. I prefer lip liner over lipstick. Angled brush and a powder for my brows. A miniature eyeshadow palette eyeshadow brush and that's it for makeup for me all fits into this little pouch here toiletries bag i am going to put my contact lenses i'm gonna bring 15 pairs mini native deodorant mini toothbrush contact lens case oh i bring these laundry strips so you can just split these in half like that and if you're hand washing you just take like less than that, like a fourth or something. And I will put it in a mini Ziploc bag like that. Shower cap, these are reusable makeup removers. I think there's like eight in here. Keep my jewelry really simple. I'll wear these actually on the flight and I'll wear this pendant on the flight. 
So I bring an extra necklace. I'll bring this bracelet, a couple of more um, eccentric pieces for going out in the evening or like this would look great with a green dress. This would look great in the evening. So I'm gonna put it in there. So that's it for my jewelry. I think that's it for toiletries bag. Staying healthy while traveling is my top priority. I have this pill organizer and this allows me to organize everything I need from my supplements, my vitamins, my migraine medication. I bring anti-allergy pills. I just have it all. It has eight different compartments and that way I don't have to bring anything bulky like tons of bottles and packages. Streamlined. I love traveling with a belt bag. This is by CalPAC. It's spacious. It has several zippered pockets. It's my favorite one for long haul travel. And basically I use this bag as everything I need from the time I walk out my front door until I arrive at the hotel. So it's all of the in-flight essentials. Of course, I've got my passport and I put that in that back zippered section. And then I have my wallet. So I don't bring my large wallet. I condense everything down into a small coin purse and I just bring my driver's license and my debit card. I bring an extra emergency credit card that I hide in another spot in my suitcase. I also don't bring all my keys. I just bring the key that I need to access my home when I get back from vacation. Few other things I grab for the coin purse, uh, gum for when I'm landing so that my ears can pop. Always gotta have a hair scrunchie. I bring this slim lip balm by Burt's Bees. And I will pack this in the back section with my passport. Now I bring a pair of shades and I pack it in this really slim case. You can see the difference between these two sunglass cases. I just wanna make sure that I bring the thinnest option. And that goes into the main body of the belt bag. Now I bought these flushable wipes. I know it's a smart thing to bring. Honestly, I never use those, but maybe I will on this trip. Uh, for now, I think I decided to take it out, but we'll see. Okay, I put the uh, cell phone case in there because of course I gotta have my phone, which I'm filming on. And then I bring my medicine and that just squeezes in right there. Uh, I bring earplugs. I forgot to pack my sleep mask. I always have a pen. I put that in the front mesh pocket. This brush, I kind of debated, like do I really need to bring a brush in this bag? Is that a necessity? Am I gonna brush my hair on the plane? Probably not. I put it in there for now, but I think I end up taking that out as well. Next up is my electronic section, which I'm using the back zippered pouch for. I have my earbuds, I bring my battery pack, and I bring my USB cord. So everything's divvied up in the belt bag, easy to find, but everything is secure, and we're good to go. Now, if you wanted to pack your TSA liquids in this bag, you absolutely can. I just wanted to show you how spacious it is and how much you can fit in here. So I did put my entire bag, like if you wanted to, you know, wash your face during the flight or brush your teeth or whatever, you could pack absolutely every single item and have enough room. Okay, now let's pack this side. So we're gonna put the shoes into a couple of plastic bags. I find that this works better than buying one of those shoe boxes because you just don't want anything that's hard like that. It's gonna take up too much space. Oh, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the interior of this shoe to hold my travel umbrella. So I know it's gonna be raining part of the time where I'm going, so I will put that in there to max my space. And then I'm gonna put my eyeglasses into the other shoe. I bring those white sneakers and I can wear these day to night. Um, they go with everything. They're by a brand called Deja. New Balance makes a really great pair as well. And then I bring a brown pair of neutral sandals with a low heel. And this is what I'll wear in the evenings if I want to be a little dressier. So, 
put that on top of each other. Put that in last. So I bring about 10 pairs of undies. I bring a couple of bras, a sports bra, and I also bring a pair of these biker type shorts that I wear underneath my dresses so that I can walk comfortably. Now I bring these laundry strips so that I can hand wash in a basin or in the sink of the hotel and then hang to dry. So I have no problem doing that with my undergarments. I forgot that I'm also bringing a swimsuit because there will be a beach portion of this trip and I just draped it across the clothing portion of my suitcase. A pair of shoes, where's my other shoes? I'm gonna do a pair of sandals. I'm gonna do this dust bag for dirty clothes. Should I do this dust bag or should I do my other one? You know what, I'm gonna do this one. Clear V bag that has a drawstring. So I've got my bras over here. Toiletries bag, do I want in here? I guess so. Okay, toiletries bag. I think that's everything. Let's close it up. So I don't even think it needs to be extended actually. And let's see how much it weighs. 20 pounds. Suitcase is packed, belt bag is packed, and now it's time to fill up my personal item, which is going to house my 13 inch MacBook Pro, my camera, my tripod, my charging cables, my extra batteries. I'm gonna keep my TSA bag in here as well. My makeup bag is gonna go in here. I'm bringing a journal. Oh, all my converter plugs are also in the electronics bag. Okay, I think that's everything for this bag. Plenty of room. So we've got that, we've got the suitcase, we've got the belt bag. Let me put on my in-flight outfit. I'll wear the scarf, the belt bag, the compression socks. I have this extra scarf that I'll actually put in the bag there. And the shoes that I'm wearing, which will be boots on the plane because those are my largest shoes. So always wear your bulkier items. And then I have a coat. So I'll throw the coat on last. And that's it, ready to go. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you next video.